Hi, and welcome to my video on SketchUp for Quilters. SketchUp is a free product you can download from Google, and I've been using it for years to design quilts. It has a lot of capabilities for 3D drawing, which we don't need. Um, this is the first screen for SketchUp, and the first thing we do when we go in is click to create a square, let go, that guy is uh, all blue now. That means he's selected. We're going to hit delete. We don't need that dude. We are now going to select how we want to view this. We are looking at a 3D plane at this point, and we need a 2D plane. We're going to go to the top and select this icon that looks like the top of a house. That altered how our view shows us. And um, now we have a green and red axis. We don't need to see those. To get rid of that and get it out of your way, you can move your cursor to the bottom left of the screen and then start rolling the roller on your mouse down. That just gets that down. It really is adjusting where your view in the screen is. So we have a lot of buttons up here, and most of them are pretty intuitive. Um, First one is, of course, select. That's what we're using now. That's what is um, selected when you open the program. We have a pencil here, and we can draw lines. You click to start and click to end. We have an eraser to erase anything. Again, click and drag over it, or you can, um, if you had a line you didn't like, you could have the selector, select it so it's blue, and then erase it or just hit delete. We have uh, this icon looks like a square and of course a rectangle that's what it is. Um, you click to start and click to end and notice that when you are in a perfect square form this diagonal line will show up across the middle to show you that that's actually a square. You can draw left to right, you can draw right to left, um, you can draw them on top of one another and, uh, you know, play with what's left. There's all kinds of great things. So we can draw a circle, pick the circle icon, click, move out, click again. There's a circle. Uh, there is a hexagon, similar. Uh, click and pull out. It didn't show it the whole time because I had the circle over it, but here you go. Um, you can select the centers of these and click delete. So then you only have the lines on the outside if you're trying to draw one thing over another. Uh, let's see here. We do have here a uh, arc. So we can draw that, you know, anywhere we want. You pick two points, click, click, then you drag to decide where you want it to go and click again to save. So there's so many things we can do in here. If you want to select something and move it, you, collect, you click this four arrow button and that will allow you to move things around. There's a measurement tool. Click to measure. When you hover over the end, it will tell you how large it is. And then, of course, <clears throat> there's the scrolling bar. The scrolling wheel on your mouse goes in and out. Or you can, if you don't have one of those, click on the zoom button and click and pull up or down to make things larger or smaller. There's a hand. You would grab something and move it left to right. There's a rotate, which is fun. There's your uh, little rotate tool. You click in two different points, and you can spin. When it gets confused, it does that crazy uh, thing, but you can move it. And then click again to save. There's a million things. There's a paint bucket. We'll see that later in the video. You click paint bucket. You pick a color of paint, and you paint something. That easy. You can also upload your own colors or fabrics to that tool. And we will be seeing that in a later video. I almost forgot to show you one of my favorite tools, which is the offset tool. 
uh, I'll start by drawing a rectangle and if you click this button here that says offset and what you do with that is you select something you hit offset and it lets you enlarge it or you can make it smaller Now, when I'm moving around in the program, it might look a little choppy on screen. That's due to limitations in my recording program. When you are in SketchUp, it is not choppy at all. So, let's start making the design that was shown to you in the beginning of the video. So, that looks easy, right? So, let's do it again, step by step slower so that I can explain to you each step in the process and it really isn't that hard. First thing we want to do is draw a line. We want the line to be one foot long so I click the beginning and leave the end open and then just type one then little dash you can see it down here see we want it to be one foot one foot enter it makes it a foot. I'd go over here, do the same, one foot, enter. Then I would go up here and choose the square and then just finish the square from the end of one line to the other. Boom, we have a square. You'll notice in SketchUp that when you move along a line, boom, it tells you where the midpoint of that line is. Well, how handy is that for quilters? We don't have to measure, make sure it's center. It tells us it's center. So I want to segment this big square into uh, what 16 pieces. The easiest way to do that would be doing it in squares, right? So I click down here. Make a square. Now, this line will be segmented between these two lines. So here's the midpoint. I can click there, go over to the midpoint here, click again, boom, there's those lines. Now I could always, always go and make lines. Just go pick the pencil, boom, it still tells me where the midpoint is. And do it just like that. I prefer to use squares. I just like how uh, quick it goes and how certain I am that it is exact. Now, the square feature only works with right angle squares um, like this. It will not work on the square that is rotated like this. If you want a square made like that, you would simply select the item and then rotate it using the rotating key. That's a little further down the line. I think let's just start with some more simple things at this point. So now we have our square and our segments. And here I would keep the pencil and just draw my lines where I want them. Um, this is where it gets kind of fun because sometimes I'll draw like a whole bunch of lines. I might, I might just go crazy and just draw a whole bunch. And when I like the effect of something, I can erase certain parts of a line. Once you intersect lines, you can erase one part and another part leaving something else and it's fun because once you start playing that way different shapes emerge that you you know you really want to work with this would not be effective on graph paper which we've all used for years and it sucks the eraser and all that this eraser is much more fun I'd say so here we go again up to the pencil and we'll just complete and see how I click there. Now it wants to draw from there. Oh, I'm stuck. What do I do? I hit Alt Backspace. That just goes back one step if you didn't like what you did. If you, you can hit Alt Backspace, I think, 25 times to, redo, to remove the last 25 things you did if you really screwed something up bad. Um, or you can just erase things and start over because, as you can see, it's not that hard. So now we have the basic shape and we're going to do the center and sure enough it knows point to point and ta-da so now we have all these extra lines we don't need 
it's it's great to be able to create lines to work other lines off of and then just hit the erase and go oh yeah I don't need you guys anymore thanks for playing you're gone goodbye goodbye oh there's our star we would go up to the paint bucket and I have colors named as a selection there's a whole bunch you can select here um, you know this is a program for architects we could do 3d drawing in this awesome program we are very much underutilizing the program but who cares we're quilters we find something great we use it so um, I have all kinds of there's regular colors these all come standard in the program I have uploaded pieces of fabric you take a picture you can upload those into the program it is so fantastic it's just there's nothing it can't do so here we go I'm gonna move that box over I just decided to make this one different than the than the last one because why not so here's some gray um, yeah, let's make a red center just for fun so that was you know fun and easy and just know that as fun and easy as this is, it does have a ton, a ton, a ton of, of capabilities. Um, I can now select this whole thing and tell the system that I like this and I want to make it a group. I want to use this to make a whole quilt. That's what I would do is control C, copies, control V pastes boom I've got another one look at that now when it's blue this this little arrow can show up or you can click on it up here and that is to move things as you can see I can move it all around and that's really fun I can I'm scrolling in with my scroller wheel now to get further and uh, closer and now when I want to stick it to it it'll let me slide it up and down but basically it says hey this is probably what you want to do with it and I go yeah that sounds great that's awesome and clicking and going away and then I'd go maybe say I want a whole bunch of those suckers now I select both of them control C control V boom there's a whole bunch now if I want to say I really like this guy I don't want him to stick to anything else uh, and what I mean by that is I say I want to move anything say this little center is bothering me and I don't like it anymore I decide to move it look what happens so we don't like that I hit escape it snaps back to where it was the point of making these items a group is if I just had regular blocks and touched them to each other if I decided I didn't like it there and I tried to move it away the lines here would stick to it and do the same as this one here did so I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna tell it it's a group and for fun I want this one to be um, on the diagonal so see how easy this is I mean so much better than graph paper so now I it's already selected I can say control C control V and this will let me stick it it'll let me stick it anywhere I want but it'll let me move it without uh, looking all messy and then I can continue one by one by one adding blocks if I want or I can say oh this is so great and just select them all control C control V move it down now see how my handle isn't in a good place how do I know where that's gonna stick I click move the handle to where I want to grab it and move it over so now that I have these four say you want to start designing the rest of the quilt and how big is the quilt what do I want to do here okay let's get our measurement tool up here from one end to the other it says it's four feet well that's terrific but I want my quilt to be six feet wide so I can say I, I moved it out there and let go of it and now I'm gonna type six and then the little apostrophe that means feet enter now it's made me this little mark saying there's your six feet it's not a line alternately I could have done it here gone here and said I want two more feet 
two feet. Enter. And it'll put a line this way. You just really have to play with this tool. It's 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 so great. So if I say, okay, that's now I want the thing to be, I don't know, seven feet long. Seven feet beyond those that one foot. So now it'll be eight feet long. Oh look, now it appears I have four points that I can say, oh, let's do this. Now it's a quilt. Of course, it drew it over these guys, and we want to delete where it did that. No, nope, we don't want to do that. Back, back. So how about we do this? How about we do a square here, and then another square. Escape, escape here to there. Boom. Now that that line is done, I can do that. So I could continue editing this and playing with this a whole lot more but I want you to download SketchUp it's a free program it's from Google um, and it has a ton of awesome videos showing you how to use it I have nothing to do with Google all I am is a very happy Google user um, I learned it years ago in an architectural office they used it to draw buildings and renovations and to be able to show clients um, expected outcomes of, of the renovation. Um, I decided to use it for, for quilts because I was looking for one of those quilt design programs when I got sick of graph paper and I just went, oh, wait a minute. No, SketchUp is the awesomest thing ever. I designed everything in SketchUp prior to wasting fabric. And in the next video, I'll show you how to, once you have a design in here, how to figure out yardage how to make cutting templates if you'd like them, how to share it with your friends or someone who's going to help you pick fabrics, or just have it as an idea board. I will show you uh, shortly a couple of awesome comparisons to a SketchUp drawing that I have to the actual quilt made, and you'll be shocked at how similar they are.